What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Ro, making sure to come to you guys before I go to sleep and just play the violin. I, I've been really bad <laughs> about, you know, actually being consistent and coming back and, and just, you know, doing something that I, I know I ought to do. And this is what I mean when I say I'm trying to build character here, you know. This is what I mean when I say more than anything else, more than anything in particular that I'm gaining, I'm gaining, I'm gaining character and I'm trying to reshape my own character. And certainly, even though the intentions aren't there, and I'm sure for a lot of people, the intentions aren't that you want to be lazy. Your intentions are that you want to, that you don't want to do something. I think everyone wants to do something. But I think oftentimes we find ourselves through bad habits getting tangled up in a web of, I don't know how else to put, put it, but maybe like the parameters through which we understand life, our reward, incentive, punishment, it's all screwed up, I think. I think that's really what's happening here. Um, and honestly, a cool thought that just popped up in my head, or at least I think it's cool, is the thought of, is the thought of it all being like an algorithm of some sort, right? That's why typically people who go through the hardships and the pain and things like that right now in the present time, they tend to live all right, and they tend to only like, or mostly experience more positive and more positive emotions, you know, more joy, more peace, more gratitude, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but then those who are wrapped up in instant gratification and happiness and who have their reward, incentive, punishment, um, I guess parameters or system of thought, who have that part of them, you know, kind of tooled in a unfortunate way or tooled in a way that leads to that sort of behavior. I think those are the ones who in general, they'll experience some, I guess, some terrible event that will literally cause something negative enough to happen to them that they unwind from that entanglement. And so maybe that's what it means when bad things happen to us. It's maybe we can always take it in a positive light. I don't want to make that a be all end all statement, but at least in some cases, it seems intuitive to me that that might be true. Uh, but without further ado, let me get to playing the violin before I go to sleep, just so I can lay my head down and say, you know what, I did that today, because I want to make it my business to continue to play this one, so, here you go.